All right, guys. Um, well, why am I doing this video here? Because I'm on a Mac. Why am I on a Mac? Because a couple of nights ago, my computer died. Oh, that hurts. All my research is on that computer. What happened? My internet connection. I got disconnected from the internet. There was no storm. Nothing was happening. So I shut down my computer properly and I rebooted the modem. Then I went to turn on my computer and I got a dark gray grainy screen. And I thought, okay, tried it again and tried it again. And then the following morning I tried it and the power button light wouldn't even go on. It's dead. What happened? I don't know. I don't know. So, some of us really are living very different experiences than an awful lot of people and some of us are experiencing problem after problem after problem and it gets very tiring to say the least. So, um, I'm on this Mac. I have two subscribers who have a nonprofit and they take in old computers and donate them. So they sent me this Mac a while ago and I tried, I wanted to see, because I was having so many problems ongoing on my PC uh, and I was told you know, by not just one but several Mac users you know, the problems that people face on the PC, you just don't have on the Mac. So I thought, all right, I'll try a Mac. I also wanted to hook up both computers to have one just for research and one to make videos because my editing program I was having problems with, the processing speed suddenly started getting really slow. So I have this Netgear, you hook it into the modem, it gives you more ports to hook up more computers. It worked fine in another place I lived, it doesn't work here. Okay, so I fooled around on the Mac trying to get used to it and I couldn't. Uh, my Many people think I'm fine because I post videos. Understand, please, I am hardwired for this. My entire adult life, all I've been doing is research and communicating it back, whether writing it or speaking it. And this is all I have now. So, when I don't have access um, that's all I have. This is it. This is what my life has been reduced to, actually. I don't want to go off on a tangent. Um, so, all right. Yesterday, I was spending an awful lot of time trying to get comfortable with this Mac. I don't know where files go or things go. I took a 30 second you know, video, hooked it up to the USB port. I don't know what happened. You don't get prompt, uh, prompted to... It's not the PC. It's different. But in fooling around and looking, okay, it did get uploaded, but where? I don't know. But just clicking on things, I suddenly clicked on something and I saw me. Ah, okay. So, I had to write it down because my memory sucks and yeah, you gotta go to pictures, photo booth library, and you can post this video as I'm doing. Why am I doing it? 
because this, I guess, is a very old Mac, and it won't let me download any of the capture programs that I use to make videos. Oh, I need an, I don't know, a 10.12 or an 11.12. I tried several programs. They won't, this computer won't accept them. <laughs> All right. Good news is I got my bad card yesterday, and I do want to thank all of you that donated via Walmart, Western Union, because you got me through these weeks. The video that I posted on the ATM eating my bad card, I don't think a lot of people were listening carefully. Uh, and somehow, in reading the comments, I got the feeling like you thought I was bullshitting. Just go into your bank and they'll issue you a new card. It's not a big deal. The bank card was associated with the primary account that I have, which is in Massachusetts. I'm in South Carolina. I can't just go into the bank. The ATM, um, my bank was taken over by another bank. And they put in a new ATM machine. I went to the bank teller. I said, don't you have the keys to the ATM? You can get my card. No. And your bank card, the ATM destroys it. Ah, great. So, I did finally get the bank card. And... via those donations, I did try to download. I can. All right. So, the same two subscribers who have that nonprofit also sent this PC, and I'm going to hook that up and see if I can get back to making videos. Um, to those who are facing uh, problem after problem after problem, I understand what it does to you. It's very, the frustration, the stress, the, it's, it's not fun. And, uh, to those who are not and still living, you know, a relatively comfortable life, don't take it for granted. And don't think you're better than that homeless person walking on the street. You're just lucky. You made it this far being lucky. Um, I'll keep trying. I do like the Mac screen, though. It's, uh, it's nice, but I don't know where anything goes. I don't know where that video is. I can't download anything to make a video on this computer. And I am tired because, you know, it's like, oh, Jesus, I do not know what happened to my life. I don't know. I don't know. I don't how how the internet I've lost connection with the internet before. Reboot the modem. There was no storm, there was nothing. So the loss of the internet murdered my computer. How does that happen? I hope you're all doing okay. It's very hot here in South Carolina. I was going to be posting a video on all of the black carbon dust that they have been filling our sky with. That black carbon dust is one of 
the methods of creating heat waves. And uh, the heat here is really um, experiencing it very different than any other year that I've lived in South Carolina. But what I'm hearing from South Carolinians is they too are experiencing something very different, as we all are. Now I think about just these last couple of months, how many Americans have lost their homes due to flooding, businesses, farms, the last couple of days, more more homes flooded in Louisiana and Arkansas and other places. More and more are going down. More and more are going down. And we never hear anything from our leaders in Washington, D.C. No, we hear now it's the drama. Trump. Trump. Via or versus, should I say, the damn women of color. Yes, leave. Leave if you're not happy here. Go back to your crime-ridden country in Somalia. Yeah, we're not a crime-ridden country. We have so many people who are suffering, struggling, doing everything they can to survive. More and more every single day. We never hear about them. Something's very wrong with Americans. Something's very wrong here. And the immaturity is really repulsive. You listen to Trump, the leader of the free nation. Um, and that was based on a congresswoman, I can't remember her name. She's Somali-American, I guess. An American citizen who said, and I'm not talking about her, and I'm not talking about everything, you know. Uh, I'm talking about what she said that prompted Trump to say, leave. Leave. You're always complaining. You hate this country, you hate Israel, you hate Jews. Wow. Everything comes down to hate. And it's not related to anything. It's not connected to what she actually said, which she was talking about the hypocrisy of Americans. And wow, I've been talking about that too. Oh yeah, I get people saying, you hate this country, leave it then. Now let's not make it better. Let's just trash the people who bring up the real problems, like the hypocrisy that so many Americans live. And, it, and Trump is a great stir of, let's not think, let's just throw out insults. Let's not think about what somebody said. Let's just tell them to leave this country, that they're a hater. And isn't it funny? You know, since Trump, hate. You're a hater. That's become big in our country. So yeah, Americans getting caught up in the drama bullshit we never hear about all of the Americans who are getting destroyed every day. Our priorities are really screwed up. On that note, I will do my best to get something working, and if I can't, I can. Um, can't believe I can't download a capture program on this Mac. All right, well, ciao. You guys, if you're still comfortable, 
don't take it for granted and help help those who are not and in our country the shame associated with not being a success well, you'll get to know it if you meet that circumstance, and I hope you don't, because it's not fun. Um, it's very hard to reach out. So reach out. Extend yourself to those that you know need help. Don't wait for them to come crawling and begging. It's important. It's really important. 